Hello guys, today we'll take a look at an example from Laracus forum about repeating code in Eloquent and how can we optimize it, both in terms of performance and in terms of readability as well. I have replied on that forum post and also posted that as article on my Laravel daily com, but decided to also shoot a video version of steps, what we can do to optimize a similar scenario. So scenario is this, I've recreated that project locally. For example, you have Eloquent model, with belongs to many relationship and you need to filter those and your goal is to have count of each of some fields of the relationship for example subscription type in the database we have something like this so i have 100 members and then member subscription is a pivot table for many to many and subscription has type so in case of that project that type is full-time part-time and affiliate but that doesn't really matter that's just an example and this is the initial code unoptimized code and if we launch that in Postman, the result is something like this, JSON result grouped by the type of subscription. I will show you three ways how we can optimize that. The obvious performance issue here is of course repeating queries. So we have one query here, then repeating almost identical query here, and here's the third query. And also we load with and where has, which would fire additional queries or conditions to the database. So could we optimize that into somehow one query? In fact, we can. One possible optimization looks like this. So we take one query to the database, get all the members at once, and don't repeat any more calls to the database. From here, we work with the collection of all members, and then we filter the result and group them with a callback function, however you want, and then count the results. It does look like an optimization with one query instead of at least three or maybe more. But be careful. This optimization method is good only for smaller amount of data because this query is one query, but it is heavy in terms of how much data it loads into memory. So if you have, for example, a million members, it will load all the million members with their data into memory, into RAM. And if you have multiple requests to this page or endpoint by multiple users, your server may physically run out of memory and you will not even get Laravel error, you will get browser error with, from what I remember, 500 code or gateway timeout or something like that. Basically, your server won't be able to serve pages. So that is a huge risk. That's why I recommend this optimization with the collection, only if you have small amount of data and you know that it won't grow really big. But that's not the only way to optimize that code. Let's rethink the whole strategy. Quite often while browsing the Laracus forum, I see people loading too much data, too many relationships, although the actual needed data is just part of that relationship. So we're loading members with subscriptions, although what we're actually counting here is the subscriptions by type. So we don't need the members at all. And this is exactly what I'm doing by inversing that query, doing subscription, with count of members, we don't need the members, we only need the count of members. Then I get all those subscriptions with the amount of members by type, or in this case by ID, for example, you can do it by type. So you could do something like key by type and then change it to full time, for example, if you have it as a string or something like that. And then it returns the same result. If you don't believe it, let's refresh this endpoint and the result didn't change. So now we load only what we need. We don't load the members. Also, we're loading the count and not the full relationship. And then we're using key by to provide the results in a better format to transform to the final JSON. But even that is not all. We're not finished yet. One more optimization method was suggested to me by Patrick Alstrom on Twitter. And what he's suggesting here in a screenshot is to use the MySQL function of case one. So in some cases for counting something, you can totally skip eloquent and use database functions. For example, if you don't use other databases, if you are only on MySQL, you can use MySQL power. So instead of that, we can execute something like this. So db select, it's not an eloquent, it's query builder. So selecting the raw query. And in this case, the query is like this case when type is one, then we return one as a result of subscription and then count the ones for type one as full-time, part-time and affiliate. And the result of that is one row with columns. So there will be a column of full-time, part-time and affiliate. 
That's why we need to return JSON with subscription zero. And the result is also absolutely the same. We refresh that and it didn't change. The downside of this approach, however, it's not using eloquent functions. So for example, if you have soft deletes or if you have some logic on, for example, accessors or mutators, it would not be fired because it's really a raw query to the database. So you're not working with Eloquent or Laravel, you're working directly with the database. This would be probably the fastest way. So you're querying the pivot table directly, only joining the subscriptions if needed. But again, it has its own limitations. And with all those examples, I wanted to emphasize that there is no one right approach for all cases. All of those potential optimizations, or even others, if I didn't mention something they are useful in certain scenarios based on your structure, the amount of data, the database engine you use, and other stuff. But I hope from this video you got a few tricks and tips how to optimize Eloquent. If you want to read more about optimizing Eloquent, on my Laravel Daily, among premium tutorials, I've published this one. Tutorial, Optimizing Eloquent and DB Speed, All You Need to Know. Huge article, 14 minutes read, almost 3,000 words. This is available for premium members at laraveldaily.com. So subscribe to the membership and get all those premium tutorials and courses. That's it for this time and see you guys in other videos.